Hi, I'm John Terzak, and I'm going to answer the question today of how to make tortilla soup. This is a big, giant question, and the reason why is because there's hundreds of ways to make tortilla soup. There is no one way to make tortilla soup, that's for sure. Um, this originated in Mexico about 2,000 years ago, and um, now it seems to have caught on in the, in the southwest of the U.S., and we have a lot of different formulas being made, and I have a special formula that I'm going to share with you today. Now, all the ingredients I think I have laid out here for the tortilla soup. We have white wine, we have celery, carrots, and onions, bacon fat, chipotle and adobo sauce pureed, cinnamon, fresh ground cumin, chicken, cilantro, bacon, hominy, tomato concasse, roasted garlic puree, mushrooms, and I have some corn that I've been roasting in here, which it's time for me to give it a little turn here. When I get this kind of nutty brown. And this soup is all about corn. We're going to take uh, white corn tortillas and soak them in hot chicken stock and puree them and add them to our mixture. But to start with, let's get the vegetables sauteed in the hot pan that I have back here. I'm going to put about a cup and a half of bacon fat in there. And I have about a quart or five cups of celery, carrots, and onions. And I have one pound of mushrooms sliced up. And I have a pound and a half of bacon already pre-cooked and I'm going to put the uh, quarter cup of fresh ground cumin right in here now and I'm going to put a couple of teaspoons of, of cinnamon also known as canela let's just give that a twirl real quick this is going to take about 15 minutes for these things to be cooked the way I want them to before we add the white wine, etc. But um, what we're going to do in the, in the meantime, I have 18 white corn tortillas. Now, I took a guess that 18 is the right amount of number of tortillas. And if it's not, then we'll make more. I'm going to drop them one by one into this hot chicken stock and let them become soft and uh, pureeable because this is what we're going to thicken the soup with. You don't want to get them stuck together in there. It takes them forever to get soaked. That's why I want to kind of stuff them in there one at a time. We're going to let this soak for about 15 minutes. So when I come back, after the vegetables are uh, sautéed, then we'll puree this mixture. Probably takes about an hour and a half total to make this soup. But... I'm also making a batch that's big enough to have for a half a dozen people to have for dinner. So I'm really making dinner for a half a dozen people here or possibly more. Can you serve this soup in a small individual portion for, as a small soup course? Absolutely. Um, so let's come back in about 15 minutes when this vegetable is cooked and sauteed and then we will add tomato concasse, add the hominy, Add the roasted peppers, add the roasted garlic puree, and the cilantro. Hey, we can put the cilantro in there now. Um, and then we're going to reduce some white wine over it before we add this pureed mixture to it. So I'll see you in about 15 minutes. All right, it's been about 15 minutes, and we're going to take the tortilla soup to the next stage. First, as you can see, this is all cooked. Looks good, smells good, too. Um, and it has what I would consider to be kind of a fraction of the ingredients in it. So now we're going to put a couple of tablespoons, full tablespoons, of chipotle and adobo sauce that's been pureed. We're going to dump the roasted red peppers in there. Got about a cup and a half of that. 
We're going to put about a cup of roasted garlic puree in here. Of course, we reserve the right to put more or all of this stuff in here again as we're as we approach the finishing process for this. Let's just give that a little mix. Get out of there. All right. Then we're going to put some of the tomato concasse in there. Probably put, let's see, one cup, two cups, three cups. About three cups of tomato concasse in there. Then I have canned hominy right here with the liquid that came in the can. I've got uh, about two cups here. In it goes. And let's just give that another quick mix. And now we're going to add about a quart of white wine. And now we're going to reduce this by about 60 to 70 percent on the stove. Then, when that part's done, we'll add the chicken and the corn and so on and so forth. So here we have the white corn tortillas that have been soaking in the hot chicken stock for 15 minutes. And <clears throat> let's give them a zap and see how that is. Love these little sticks. Mm, I want more tortillas in there. Had 18 in there. Let's, this is not thick enough. I'm looking for a little bit more body than that. Even though it will thicken up more in the soup also. Keep that in mind. Let's throw in another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's an even 30 now that we put in there total. Let's let that soak for a few minutes. We'll let that soak while that white wine is reducing. I'll be back in about, it'll probably take 20, 25 minutes for that to reduce down by 60 to 70%. These will be soft. We'll re-zap this again when we come back. Uh, so I'll see you in about 20, 30 minutes. All right, it's been about 25 minutes that the white wine has been reducing over the mixture. And let's bring it back over here. So you can get a good look at that. First, let's start by showing you what's in here. See, there's the most of the liquid's been reduced out. This looks really good to me. If you wanted to make Mexican style stew, you could stop right now. You know, put that over some rice and you'd be you'd be set. So let's. Uh, I took the corn out of the oven. It's nice and roasty toasty looking. Let's get that in here. That will rename this corn soup. You got your corn masa. The tortillas are made out of to begin with. Then you have your hominy, which is corn, and then you have your actual corn. It's all about the corn here. Which much, very much, of Mexican cooking is about corn. Along, among other things. Okay, let's um, give this tortilla mixture, which has been sitting around, I put it in the microwave to get it hotter again. And let's give this a zap. It's definitely going to be thick enough. Thirty was the magic number. What we have in here, we had two and a half quarts of chicken stock here. We 
when you taste this tortilla soup, if you're lucky enough to make this or have someone make it for you, it just tastes like tortilla because it's pureed tortilla. So let's put most of this in here. We're going to reserve some of this just to make sure we don't have too much in there. And we're going to put, oh, I got about, oh, let's put about a quart and a half of chicken stock in there. And let's put the chicken in here. I have one whole three and a half pound roast chicken that I boned out and diced up. Let's give this mixture a mix. Oh yeah. But let's cook that masa flour in here to make sure we know how thick this is going to get before we start adding more of it. It seems pretty thick right now. Let's go with the other quart of the chicken stock. And we reserve the right to add this to this after this comes to a simmer. Let's get this up to a simmer. We're going to time elapse a little bit more of this. Like I told you, this takes about an hour and a half to make this soup. It's worth every minute of the time, believe me. So, that's going to come up to simmer. We're going to end up putting this in a bowl for you. And I'm going to do some really cool little garnishes on it. Um, shredded cheese, sour cream, fried tortilla chips, chopped cilantro, olive oil, lime slices, maybe a little avocado. So it's going to be like Mexican. It's just going to jump out at you in the bowl when, it's, when you see how we serve it. So I'll be back in about 15, 20 minutes. Let's bring it up to a simmer. Then we'll check the texture. Then we will start doing the finishing process of tasting and adjusting the varying flavors that I put in there earlier. Okay, so I'll see you in about 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. This has been simmering, and I see where the thickness level is. And knowing that I'm going to add some butter and some cream to this, I'm going to put the rest of this in there. So we have all 30 pieces of the uh, white corn tortilla puree and the chicken stock in there. I'm going to give this about five more minutes to simmer. Make sure it gets, it ends up at the texture that it's going to end up at to see what the final effect of that additional amount of flour, which is what I just added to this, has on the soup. So I'll be back in five minutes. Now we're going to take that pot up here, and we're going to finish it off. We're going to put it in the bowl and do a little presentation for you. It's been about five minutes, like I said, and it's time to finish the tortilla soup. Let's get it over here. Now, you may not do the, this part or parts of this part. Do it based on your taste. I'm going to put a half a pound of whole unsalted butter in there. I'm going to mix that up. I'm going to put about just enough cream in there to kind of make it a little bit creamy. I got about a cup and a half in there right now, and I think that'll probably do it for this entire pot. You got to figure we got a couple of gallons of soup here. So it's not that much butter, by the way. It's less than probably an ounce per quart that I put in there. All right, so let's give this a taste. This looks good. I tasted it earlier. It definitely has the right amount of chipotle in it for two gallons and two tablespoons. That uh, seems good. It tastes good. I don't think I needed to add anything else to this. this soup has so much flavor of all the different things that's in here. And we're about to change that dramatically the way we're going to serve it also. I 
I like it just the way it is. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to get our soup bowl. Fill with the amount of soup we think is a main course portion of this soup. Now this is a soup that you could serve some rice on the side with too. Oops, we just lost the whisk. It's a good thing I was done with it. Okay, I think that's the right amount. Let's get this out of our way now. Let's put this bowl center stage. And let's do some, a couple of things to it. First, let's squeeze some lime juice into this. And let's um, give that a, I lost the other whisk inside the soup. Let's give that a little mix. So I'm seasoning this individual bowl. You might want to season the whole pot with lime juice. Depends on what you want. So I'm going to put a little bit of sour cream in the middle of this, like that. Making sure you can see it. And let's put some blue chips and some white fried corn chips around this. I could say you could even do more of those, but let's not. Some shredded cheddar cheese, a little bit. Some fresh chopped scallions, a little bit. Of course, you want to put some pickled jalapenos or fresh serrano, a half of a serrano on here. Go for it. A little bit of fresh tomato. A little bit of, let's put a couple of limes on here. Let's pretend this is a drink. Put a couple of limes on there. Let's put a little sprig or chopped or both of cilantro on there. And finally I got a little avocado here. Now it's all of a sudden there's all these other things going on on top of what's already in here. This comes out to, a, I've used about 30 ingredients total in this soup today. Let's take this avocado. Nice California avocado. Let's give it a little mini fan there. Let's open up that fan. Let's put that in there just like so. And finally, just for fun, I put a little olive oil on there just so it has a little glistening and that going on there. So there you have it. Main dish tortilla soup. I can't wait for this camera to go off because we're going to eat this. I uh, hope you get a chance to make this. This is a really good soup. And like I said, there's hundreds of ways of making this soup. I've seen it in the form of broth. I've seen it without tortillas pureed in it. Most of them that I've seen do not have tortillas pureed. I've only seen one that had tortillas pureed in it like this one. Um, but there you have it. John's tortilla soup.